NASA mission that really just sounds like time travel. There's a new telescope that's about to be launched that will reveal what happened just seconds after the Big Bang. It's part of a rideshare launch happening this weekend and one rocket for two very different missions. Sphere X is a telescope that will take images of our sky and search for key ingredients that make life on Earth possible while punch will learn more about the sun's atmosphere and its impact on our planet like stuff to make your mind go pew, 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 to learn real. more about <laughs> these groundbreaking projects we're joined by nasa sphere x project systems engineer jennifer rocca thanks so much jennifer for being with us this morning thank you for having me can we begin now with an overview of what sphere x is and the scale of what the mission hopes to accomplish Absolutely. So SphereX is a near-infrared astrophysics mission, and our purpose is to go up in space and take a giant three-dimensional map of all of the sky outside of Earth. We will capture in that map about 450 million galaxies and uh, be able to retrace steps uh, back to the beginning of the universe itself just after the Big Bang. And SphereX will also be searching for key elements of life, like water and ice. So how do you think those discoveries might benefit or really impact our own resources or how we see them here on Earth? Yeah, so um, the, the special thing about SphereX detectors is that they have rainbow colored glasses, just like these. And the, <laughs> the glasses in SphereX actually have 102 stripes, not just the seven that we see with our eyes. And the value of those stripes is that we can actually choose wavelengths or stripes that help us look for certain elements in interstellar space. And so by choosing the right wavelengths, we're able to locate places where water tied up as ice outside of the solar system, it uh, could be located in the universe. And the value of this is to our knowledge, uh, we need those ingredients in order for life to flourish. And we're using SphereX to help us find where in the celestial sphere that ice might be located. Oh my gosh, okay, it is, it really is mind blowing. Uh, you've worked on this project for over five years now. How does it feel as you near launch day? Yeah, so actually I worked on this project for 10 years at this oh, point, okay. and I remember being on the proposal where it was just an idea written on a cocktail napkin, and it's really gratifying to see it as it's beautiful piece of hardware, just getting put inside the rocket pairing this morning, and we're really excited to see it go up in space and get first light in that telescope. Wait, what'd you put on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> we draw what we want to build first and uh, dream up these new ideas. We propose them to NASA. NASA selected us as a mission, and then we get to build it. It's oh really, really fun. So we're drawing <laughs> stick figures uh, over here. If. You guys are if yeah. that, uh, <laughs> and you guys are creating masterpieces. Uh, we do want to ask you, that if, can you briefly tell us what scientists hope to learn from the other mission, PUNCH? Absolutely. So we're really fortunate that we get to use one rocket and launch two incredible science missions. Although they do different science, ours is an astrophysics mission, PUNCH is a heliophysics mission, and it is taking a similar all-sky survey, but of the entire sun. It has a very special instrument called a coronagraph, which basically puts a spot in front of its eye so that it doesn't have to look really brightly at the sun, but it can see the glow of the corona of the sun that's around it, and hopefully understand how that corona turns into the solar wind. That's really important, not just for spacecraft that are flying in space, as the sun and the solar wind that it creates changes the space weather that our, that our um, spacecraft have to uh, deal with, but it also can affect systems on Earth. You've heard sometimes about GPS outages or stories about the aurora being especially bright um, and seen at lower latitudes than usual. And this is all uh, an impact of the solar wind. So it really does tell us things, not just about the, uh, the, the, the universe, but it also tells us things about life here on Earth. And I think it's a really wonderful mission that we're really happy to carpool with to space. Wow. wow. Congratulations. I mean, 10 years in for you. And I'm sure the team, if you add up all the years, it would be just infinite. Right now, the launch date targeted for the Sunday evening.